just weeks away from New Year's resolution time, we'll be talking to the co-author of the brilliant new book, Awaken Your Potential. That's just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, we're just weeks away from New Year's resolution time, and I don't know about you, but I start off the year with the best of intentions, and then three weeks into the new year, uh, there, those you know, promises to myself were often left by the wayside. But to talk about awakening your potential is the author of a book called Awake, Awakening Your Potential. Absolutely. That, yeah, hey, uh, Casey Haston, thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> thank you for having me on the show. This is kind of a dream for me. You know? Yeah, and for me too. The nicest she... Uh, Casey's the most wonderful person, purest heart I've ever met, and she happens to be a client, but she mostly she's my friend. And I got to tell you, as an author of a book from 20 years ago, I remember what it was like to write the book and then hold it in my hands for the first time. So Casey, tell us about the book and, and what, what does this feel like? So first of all, let me tell you, I can so agree with that because when I got the prototype of the book and held it in my hands, I literally cried. And I think I kissed it a thousand times because it was it's been 18 months of just you know dragging this information out of me putting it into an order that I thought made sense for everybody else so just real quickly I'll tell you so this is I'm a journal junkie and this is based on my many years of practice my I'm also a bookworm I just love to read and so every time I read something I would incorporate it into my journal practice and really what started happening was I was carrying around four or five different journals and it was ridiculous. So I started to look for a journal that had everything because I journal about every area of my life. And so I looked for a journal that had all that in it and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to design the journal I want for me. And as I started designing it, and talking to people about it, I found out there were a lot of other people that wanted a journal like this too. And it's beautiful. It's a, it's mm -hmm. a hard bound and I just, I love, you know, it's substantial. It's not going to, like the pages aren't going to rip. Yeah. And all the artwork in here is original. We hired a graphic designer. She's a symbol and color expert mm -hmm. to just really pay attention to the details. Um, one of my favorite uh, graphics in here is the one for mindset. So there's six different sections in here. There's mindset, affirmations, efficiency, so that's your habit loop, so that you free up that space in your brain, um, goal setting, productivity, and finance. It's got everything, but then underlying is health. Mm -hmm. So every section has its own graphic, and so I wanted to show the audience, this is that's mindset. So beautiful. Yeah, and I won't show all of them. You'll need to get the book if you want to see the rest of them, but sure. they're absolutely amazing. Well, so if this is mindset, tell us about some of the things that we do to kind of sabotage ourselves. I, I know a lot of people have like a negative self-talk loop that keeps going on. Absolutely. You know, I tell people all the time, you, you know, I'm a certified coach, and mm -hmm. so this is one of the things I talk about, but if you were to put a microphone up against your head and we could hear what you were saying to yourself, we would probably institutionalize you because you you talk so horribly to yourself but not only that um there's a great book out there called power versus force and in this book it talks about the different energy levels we experience each day um and what this is if you don't want to think about it like energy i'm not talking woo woo here this is based on 20 years of science um done by david uh, dr david hawkins um but Think about it as the lens in which you view the world and how you're showing up each day. You get to choose that. That's the great thing about this. We get to, with every choice we make, we create our own reality, right? Yes. And that's what this book is about. It's about, and it's, it's a journal. It's a guided journal. It's about helping you to choose in each moment how you want to live your life. 
Now, and, and I'll just give you a quick example of the energy levels. So level one is a victim level. So everything's happening to you, not for you, okay? And if you're constantly viewing the world as a victim, mm -hmm. then stuff is happening to you and that's how you're gonna perceive your reality. And you can really shift that fairly simply by just changing the narrative in your head. And, and I can vouch for that. Uh, I, I get up very early every morning mm -hmm. to put out a daily email that goes out to thousands and thousands of journalists. And sometimes I wake up and I'm tired and I say to myself, I have to, and then I catch myself and say, I get to. Yes, that's I, so I, good. I, I, I get to write something that is important to thousands mm -hmm. of people. Yeah, those are guilt words. Yeah. I I have to, I should, I need. Yes. Those are guilt words. And just changing those little words totally changes the narrative in your head. Yes. Just like you said, I get to. What are some other things in the book? So there's a lot in here, and I know we don't have a whole lot of time, but I really want to talk about the productivity section because this is the meat of the journal. So if you look, yes. I mean, this is a massive section. So yes. I've given you daily pages for every day and on these daily pages and there's also a monthly overview but the real important part are the daily pages so and I'm not real sure yeah. you can see this very well but there are all different sections and they tie back to the other sections so mindset okay what are you grateful for today it is so important to book in your day with gratitude right I've given you some space so that you can write whatever it is that you want to write but so important write down your schedule in the morning that's one thing I do and when I see what my schedule is I map out my big three that usually relate back to my goals which are another section um, I also have a health section in here so I track the stuff every single day because I want to be very cognizant of where I am in my health journey. Um, and then there's also an evening check-in. And remember I said bookend your day with gratitude? This is where you bookend your day. You're going to list what you're grateful for. What was your big win today? Mm. You know, what, um, a lot of people call them coincidences. I call them synchronicities. What did you see happen over and over again today? You know, yes. that, you know, and that's what you need to pay attention to. Cause when you start paying attention to it, your brain, this amazing little brain of ours, um, do you know what a reticular activation system is? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. So the reticular, have you ever thought about like, okay, I'm going to go buy a blue Toyota and all of a sudden you start seeing blue Toyotas everywhere. Right. That's controlled by your reticular activation system, your hmm. RAS. And it's this magnificent little glob back here. that Because we're bombarded with like 12 million pieces of information every minute, every second. I don't know the exact numbers. But we only get like 10 or 11 pieces of information, right? Right. The RAS is what controls that. And so whatever you focus on grows. Wow. That's fascinating. And talk about the idea of writing it down. It's not, not just enough to say it to yourself or think it. Writing it down is an exercise that's important. It is so important because it does something that's called double encoding. And what that does is as you're writing it down, the, your brain stores the information in one part of your brain. Okay. But then after you write it down and you look at it, you take a picture of it and that gets stored in a different part of your brain. Mm. And so it's like you learn it twice. It's so important to write things down, especially your goals. That's why there's not ever going to be a technology app for Awaken Your Potential. I think I read some place where if you do something for th three weeks, it becomes a habit. And so if somebody were to make the commitment to get the, the journal and, and start journaling and keeping track of their productivity and yes. their mindset every day, by the three week mark of um, January, it's a habit. Absolutely. And there's different schools of thought on how long it takes to form yeah. a habit, but now that you said that, we've actually got a section in here, let me find it, that will help you with that, will help you track it. Because this whole thing's about accountability, right? So if you look here, you can see we've given you a habit tracker. Nice. And why it's important to you. It's, it's always important to define that, you know, whenever you're going to set out to do something, really understand your why. Simon Sinek says it all the time. He's done TED Talks on it. He's wrote multiple books on find your why, start with why, because that's what's going to get you up in the morning. And that's what's going to keep you going. Yeah. Okay. Give us one more tidbit from the book. Um, one more tidbit. Well, I was talking about the underlying section of health, right? Yes. yes. So when you get to the end of each week, I'm trying to get there. You've got your weekly review and your weekly preview, but more importantly, you have your meal planning. Brilliant. And then you have, right with it, a 
a grocery list that you can oh. tear out, broken down by section. See, I am trying to make you efficient. <laughs> <laughs> What's been the reaction so far to people who are, are seeing the book for the first time? Um, you know, interestingly, I just mailed these direct from the printer to a lot of my beta, beta testers, and I am getting, like, tons of love. They're taking pictures with it. They're sending it to me. They're, you know, some of them have filled out the accountability page and where you sign saying, I'm going to do this, yes. and send it to me. So I just, it's been amazing, the response that I've had so far. Wow, Casey, I am so excited. We're going to put your website up so people can get a hold of this book. Um, and you ship across the country? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, Casey Haston, co-author of Awaken Your Potential. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, right. Jeff. You are always so much fun. <laughs> All right. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. <laughs>